the traveling salesman problem. Has anybody heard about it before? It's a problem that's very easy to state. It's an extremely hard problem to solve. You have one vehicle, and you have a bunch of customers, and you want to route this truck through your customers and come back to the place, the depot that it started from. And you want to do it with a minimum costway. The next problem is the vehicle routing problem. So now, instead of trying to um, route one poor salesman through all of your customers, you're trying to figure out how to route multiple trucks through your customers doing delivery or pickup. The last one is now saying that take this problem and now add the issue of inventory in it. What does that mean? This means that I am not only deciding on which truck should go to which customers, but I'm also deciding on when I actually come to you and stop at you to deliver something, I'm going to decide how much to deliver. But how do you really solve these problems in the real world? Like you actually use very simple techniques, okay? So here's one. These are the cities that I want to go to. One easy way would be, okay, I start from somebody and I go to the, the nearest place possible, right? Then I go to the next nearest place and then I keep doing it, okay? And then I come up with a solution something like this. Can this solution be optimal, by the way? Why not? You would never cross, right? In an optimal solution, you would never ever cross because This is never optimal compared to this, right? This is always shorter, especially if you're looking at road distances, right? So whenever you see a cross, right, like right here and right here, you know that you're not really optimal. I would just uncross the solution, right? So that's not so hard either. So some of the most sophisticated real world TSP solutions just does that. Comes up with a very simple algorithm for solving the problem and then looks at the final solution and uncrosses things. Here's another one. So in this one, instead of going to the nearest one, you just pick the shortest links first. So this was the shortest. Then I pick this one. And I, if I keep doing this, I would get to something like this. Looks like a much better solution. Still there's a cross. And there is a cross, but very easy to fix that one, right? It's very easy to fix that one. So another one, you first divide the space into these kind of neighborhoods. So, you know, maybe this is one way of routing. Another way, come up with that. Okay? If the routing is a big issue in the organization, of course you'll have to spend time and come up with more sophisticated ways of doing this. But if this is, like, if routing is something that you do every day, it's not a big deal, you kind of know what you're doing, using these kind of simple ideas actually just works. Mm -hmm.